right, guys, this was an exciting video because we are going to do kind of the first real customization outside of the wheels on the Mustang. So you may have seen in the previous video that the stereo was pretty bad shape. Um, the dash was all cracked and the 1999 Mustang has uh, two stereos. It has a cassette and a CD player. So what I want to do is take the car to Cartoons in Tampa, Florida, and they're going to install this stereo, which my wife gave to me a while back. I hadn't been able to install it in any vehicle, so it's going in the Mustang. So I got this stereo system. I've got a brand new dash to replace the broken dash, all the trim that goes around the stereo, and a delete kit for the second CD player. So real briefly, I just want to show you um, here. I've already uh, opened it just to save time, but this is the replacement for the dash that's in the Mustang. Um, the 99 actually has two stereos, something a little different. And um, here you go. So this, we're gonna take this to be installed. Brand new stereo will go right here. And then they're gonna have a delete kit that goes right here. So I'm excited to take this over. All right, so now I'm gonna open up real quick the delete kit. This I haven't opened yet. Just want to do it really quick because I gotta get the car there before they close. They were nice enough to take me on a day when they're almost done for the day. And it's about a 30 minute drive. So I gotta, but I haven't opened this yet, but I bought this delete kit. Pretty cool from LMR. So what it does is basically replaces the where the stereo is with a cubby, which is a place where you can just basically put your wallet and stuff. And so it looks like a it's a basically a DIN pocket to fill in the second DIN for the car. So, excited. I'm taking these three things over to Cartoons in Largo, Florida. They're going to install it, and then I hope to show it off. It should look brand new, because right now the car looks a little bit beat up. It's got a brand new shifter and everything, but then this is all cracked and beat up. So, having this with a brand new stereo and a delete kit should be a really nice touch. Make it look almost new inside, and then we'll move on to something else. See you guys in a bit. All right, so right before we take it to the stereo place, we got to get the nails out of the stereo, so that's what's up next, all right? Let's knock it out. Let's get these out of here. I have no idea why they're in there to begin with. But we need to take it to them. Oh, I see why. Stereo's literally falling apart, guys. Look at this. This comes right out. All right, it's getting the, getting the nails out. So that the stereo spot doesn't have to deal with it. And then they're going to have a delete kit that will replace all of this. And it should hopefully look brand new. Like factory, hopefully. With a new stereo that my wife gave me. Um, I've got to put this into neutral for a second. And you guys can see this stuff just flying right out. Look at this. All right, we got them all out, so let's head over to the stereo spot. Well, as you guys can see, man, this is the kind of eyesore of the interior. I couldn't be more excited to get this fixed. So I'm almost in Largo, heading over to Cartoons. I've got the delete kit, I've got the dash and the stereo ready to go in the trunk. They say they can fit me in before they close, which is only a few hours, so that would be so awesome. I'm so excited. Uh, it's one of the only things about the car that I saw as a big weak spot, and uh, super excited that we can get this fixed and uh, knock that out. All right, guys, while we wait for the car, because they said it might take an hour, hour and a half, we decided to sneak, because they're in Largo, Florida, and Clearwater's right next to it, and our favorite pizza place in the whole world is? Christina's. I'm at my favorite place, and it's every day I always want to eat it here. Because they have they have a special kind of gelato here. Tell them what your favorite gelato is with my beautiful daughter. I'm just going to tell you. Ready? It is the Nutella. So if you guys are in Clearwater, Florida, waiting for your car stereo to be installed, 
come to Christino's Pizza. It's in Clearwater. It's actually coal oven pizza, so it's super yummy. And we're right here if you're coming. We're like sitting right here. Yeah, we're like right here. You could totally meet us. So I'll see you guys. I'll show you the pizza in a second, and then we're gonna go back and get the car, and I'm super excited to see the interior totally fixed up. We gave them everything they needed, so hopefully they could do a great job. All right, see you in a bit. Amazing. Look at this fresh sauce. Look at the steam coming off this thing. Christino's Pizza. Mm. 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 How do you like it, Tally? Mm. Whenever you start eating it, you're going to want to stay here for like two years. All right, let's walk up to the car. Let's check it out. They finished it. I'm excited to see what it looks like, guys. Oh, wow. It looks great. They did a bang up job. Yo, cartoons is super dope. All right, so we're back home. The stereo was installed. The dash was installed. The only thing that they forgot to do was install the second stereo delete kit. So what they did is they left the second CD player installed, just not powered up. So it looks very cool, right? It's a loose factory. <laughs> um, but I might be taking it back to have them put in the delete kit if I don't do it myself. But for now, let's take you inside the car. Um, I got one last step, which is to get the glue from all that tape that my dad had on there off so i bought some goo gone we're gonna get that off and then we'll look at the final installation all right so i'm here with my best friend for the day which is hopefully gonna get the tape residue off and then that would leave the dash looking pretty close to brand new with a new uh trim new stereo uh it should look really really good all right, so this is the remaining of the glue. That's it. We just want to get it off of the top there. Hopefully it comes off easily. And then I'll show you guys the rest. Guys, that's the radio I just had installed. Listen, it's a little bit old school, but it was a gift from my beautiful wife, so now we're going to enjoy it. I love how it changes colors. I love that it has other ways for me to put music into it. Heck, I even love that it's got a CD player because I'm old school like that. came with a nice little remote. Here's the original stereo, the cassette deck that came out of the Mustang that'll go into a box somewhere. And then, of course, here's the aux cable. Back in the day when you had aux cables for your phone, um, you know, so they came with that. So... There it is, man. Pretty much uh, now the dash has been repaired. That's actually, aside from swapping the wheels, the very first actual customization or, in my opinion, just fixing up something that was damaged to be like new. So now it looks great inside and we can move on to the next customization. All right, guys, that about does it for this episode of Project 99. It's been super fun to get the whole interior fixed up, get a brand new stereo. Uh, my wife gave me that a couple of years ago. I never could install it into a car. I'm about to sit in there with the remote, get it all programmed, have a little fun, and I'll see you guys next time on Project 99. Make sure, if you like the channel, guys, that you're subscribing and you're hitting the little bell so you can get notifications. I really like all the comments that you guys are leaving behind, and I'm excited to show you what's next with the car. We're taking it one step at a time. Big shout-out to Cartoons in Largo, Florida. The team there took great care of me, did an amazing installation because I took it to them in pretty bad shape, and they are amazing. We might be seeing them again soon on the channel. I'll see you guys next time on Project 99. Peace!